Guys, I am super excited. We're gonna be talking about living in Carlsbad, my hometown. We're gonna talk about the location. We're gonna talk about the village. We're gonna talk about the local businesses, all the things to do. So why don't you stay along on this ride with me and let's go dive right into it. All right, Carlsbad has always been known as a retirement town and that's mostly due to the value. It, it's expensive to live in a place like this. So you'll notice a lot of retirees that'll walk along the beaches but it's slowly starting to change into a hub for a lot of locals, people who are looking for a good time. Families are huge here in Carlsbad. And I think that over time, you're gonna see, you know, it's slowly start to change to a younger demographic. Most of the things here right on the beach are meant towards people who are looking for that retirement home or maybe that vacation home that come from other places around the United States. So let's go keep touring. All right, so now we're touring through the Carlsbad Village area. And I'm telling you, it's one of the most beautiful areas. It's super walkable. People can even walk across the sidewalk, like diagonally. It's probably the only places that I've seen it in San Diego where you can actually do so. But they have a lot of history. The Carlsbad sign's always a good place to start and then kind of work your way to the beaches or maybe to the restaurants and the bars. Um, they have some, they have way, a lot of different food options that have popped up over the years. And I'll tell you, from the past to now, a lot of things have changed. There's been new development. There's been a lot of new condos, new apartment buildings, new high rises. Not as many single family homes that they're building, but they're giving people more opportunities to have an opportunity to live in a place like Carlsbad. So there's tons of little shops. We just came out of Anaka. There's boutiques, there's popcorn shops, there's little sweets and treats. You have the kids running around on the turf. You have people having, just catching up, maybe getting some work done, uh, putting their headphones in and just having a, a place to go to, to do anything that you like. And that's the thing about Carlsbad. You feel that the vibe is just so relaxed. It's just very easy going. People are very friendly. You can just see it in the faces. The closer to the west that you go here in Carlsbad, the more you realize how happier people are. And it's not something that you just see, it's something that you feel. What's really cool about the Village Fair right behind me is all the experiences that I've had personally as a child and even to this day, coming back and seeing how so much has changed. What's awesome about it is they have over 20 local businesses in this little plaza that doesn't look like much when you drive by it up until you go in there. You see the center square, you see the gelato shops, the coffee shops, you have uh, Japanese restaurants, you have the Coyote Grill that has an outdoor patio where they bring live bands. Um, there's times where they'll have DJs go and play inside the Coyote Bar and Grill. So honestly, there's everything, everything that you want to do is right here. But let's just say you want like a switch up in ambiance. Well, you go down the street, there's some nice fine dining restaurants, Italian restaurants that I've gone to, or hey, let's just take a trip to the beach. So the Village Fair really is a central part where you can find anything you're looking for, including shopping. Guys, if you don't know how to surf, I'm sorry, you can't come to Carlsbad, you can't live in Carlsbad, you can't visit Carlsbad. You gotta learn how to surf. If you're enjoying this video, you're getting a lot of value, I need you to do the like, subscribe, and let me know what you guys wanna see next. It helps me out, so let's go ahead and get back to the video. All right, guys, well, we're touring through Carlsbad. I'm getting a lot of memories, but I don't remember it being this freaking nice. Look, at we have a full resort right here to my left. But I wanted to talk to you about the location really quick while we're in the car. The location is excellent. I mean, you're right on the 5 North. You don't really get much traffic coming in and out. It's real. The traffic really starts over in Oceanside and a little bit farther in, closer to Encinitas. So as far as accessibility to the freeways, it's pretty free-flowing, really nice, very easy um, rise to go. And then honestly, it's just nice to drive through all the streets in Carlsbad. There really is no rush. Like other parts of San Diego, you kind of have to rush through to kind of get to where you're going to. Here in Carlsbad, I'm enjoying like looking around at all the houses, all the new developments that they have. Like, oh cool, there's, a, there's another shop. And I feel like I'm never running out of things that are new. So yeah, that's kind of the, the cool thing about going through Carlsbad and its location. Our family was very much into the community, especially when we lived out here. There was different things to do. And as, as small kids, my mom would have us walk from our apartment building down in the Carlsbad Village area all the way to Buena Vista, which isn't that easy of a walk, but honestly, it's a great memory to have as a kid. And then after schools, we'd come to this local library right behind me get our homework done, there was tutoring. Honestly, it was like, I only have fond memories of Carlsbad. Um, right, right around the corner from here, you have Pio Pico Park. 
and that's where we would go on the weekends to go on the playgrounds. Um, there's also a daycare center right next door. I'm not even sure if it's still there, but going through here, it's just so family oriented, very much a suburb in, in, in every single right. It's extremely safe. Nothing ever rarely happens around here. I mean, you'll hear of one-off cases that, that might happen, but overall, such a great place to raise a family. For young professionals, I would say that if you're looking for a little bit more life, more vibrancy, you're gonna wanna be closer to the Carlsbad Village. But honestly, like that's the thing with North County. North County is just a lot more slow down. It's calmer, it's more relaxed. It's very much beach life. For a family, it would be absolutely perfect. It would tick every box, because you could stay here for elementary, middle, and high school. The school districts are top notch. Carlsbad High School has been known to win CIF championships on the football team. They have some really top prospects that go to the big universities that eventually make it into the NFL. Fingers crossed that that happens here over the years so we can actually say that we have some alumni, some Carlsbad High School alumni here. So that kind of wraps up the schools, the location, and the safety. All right, guys, everyone knows that San Diego is getting incredibly expensive, especially here in Carlsbad, where homes can average between I don't know, the low, lowest that I've seen as far as condos go from like the five, 600 range for a one bedroom, all the way up well within to the millions, five, six, seven, eight million for the luxury homes. So I've decided, you know, I'm gonna opt for a tiny home for a whopping $300,000. You know, there's enough space for myself and all my items, my shoes, my, I don't know, what else can I fit in that little thing? That, that's, yeah, and the roof clearly needs some work. But anyway, all jokes aside, housing is probably one of the biggest things that prevents people from living here long term. So if you are looking at Carlsbad, just know that it, it is pretty expensive. There's really not much on the market. There's not a lot of condos or townhomes that are actively available. And that's what everyone's going for because that's what keeps you in the affordable range that keeps you within only a few miles of the beach. And one of the things about Carlsbad is a lot of people invest into Carlsbad and buy for the long term because it holds its value really well. Even during times that are like, you know, 2008 for instance, Carlsbad held its value. It, it wasn't dropping like other parts of San Diego were. So that's just something to consider when you're buying. If you're buying Carlsbad, I would buy with the idea of I'm buying long term. And I think there's still a lot of room to grow. Let's talk about all the numerous changes that have happened here in Carlsbad. I mean, there's a bunch of developers that have picked up lots of commercial properties, lots, parking lots, and have built up things from boutiques to condos to apartment buildings to high-rise luxury penthouses. But, you know, even despite all the changes, I am still seeing a lot of elements from when I was a kid. Like, for instance, we have Holiday Park right behind me. Our family used to call it Pio Pico because that's the, the street name. So I used to always call this park Pio Pico Park not realizing that it had a, its own name, Holiday Park. Anyways, before someone corrects me and says I'm saying the wrong thing, that's my name for this park. But either way, there, there's a lot more change coming to Carlsbad in terms of more development. And some people have mixed feelings about this. You know, there's a lot of people who want to keep the charm of Carlsbad where you don't want to see nothing but buildings. And I can relate to that because honestly, it's weird for me to see that the Denny's that I used to go to for over like over 20 years ago is no longer there and now it's this big massive apartment building overlooking all of everything so i mean but there's also a lot of people needing homes and needing places to live and if we don't create that housing then it's just people squished up on top of one another and then things get incredibly expensive san diego housing hasn't gotten any better at all i mean the number of homes that are on the market is slim to none so that's gonna lead us right into the cons of living in Carlsbad, which one of the only cons that I, can, that I can say personally is the cost of living. It's just extremely expensive to buy a home, to rent an apartment, to live here as a family. And that's one of the reasons my family had to move away and move to places around Oceanside. We've lived in Vista, we lived in central San Diego. And Carlsbad was always that place that if we could afford it, we would stay and we would live here for the long term. I mean, today, a lot of people who live in Carlsbad have a hard time letting it go unless they're moving out of state. So that's part of the reason. And I think that's probably the only con that I can think of. Oh, oh wait, no, there's another con. In the mornings, you'll notice that there's a marine layer here in Carlsbad and it gets really cold for us San Diegans. Cold to us is like anything below 70. 
I guess, 60s, 50s. So the marine layer will make it look like it's gonna be a rainy day, and then noon hits, and then the clouds dissipate, and then it's sunny. So when I would go to school, I'd have jackets on all the time in the mornings, and then I'd, I'd just have to carry my jackets. I lost a lot of jackets because I'd just get too hot, just throw it somewhere. And so I know a lot of kids that are a little irresponsible like myself, I'll raise my hand. Um, but other than that, there's not really many other cons that I can actually think of that come top, top of mind. Affordability is always going to be an issue and it's going to be an issue for the long term. So that's the end of the video, guys. I appreciate you guys watching. If you're looking to move to San Diego, look down in our description below. We have free buyer resources. Um, and reach out to our team if you're looking to relocate to San Diego and Carlsbad. I'd love to help you with your situation and I'll see you in the next video.